University of Virginia, Thomas Jefferson's living monument to the human spirit. The university has a long-standing reputation as a pillar of academic excellence. In 1984, that description encompassed an exciting new dimension of excellence. UVA football. November afternoon in Scott Stadium, and a capacity crowd is on hand for this one. UVA and NC State, and possibly the biggest game in Cavalier football history. Who would have believed it? Virginia picked to go nowhere, just one win away from their first ever bull bid. UVA's football fortune hangs in the balance with kickoff just minutes away. His name is George Welsh. He is a football coach, and they don't come any better. In three short years, he has taken a dormant program to the first division of the Atlantic Coast Conference. His secret is simple, find dedicated student athletes who want to play the game. Uh, I think you have to like football these days to be successful with it. Being a good athlete isn't enough because there's so much time involved during the season and out of season that a young man has to like to go on the practice field and he has to like to go into the weight room, for instance. You know, it's a lot of hard work. And he stresses that we work hard, but he makes it clear that's the only way to win. We've all picked up on that since he's got here, and uh, it doesn't bother us that we have to work hard. We realize the rewards that come from it. For William Frazier and his teammates, the rewards have been bountiful. Successive winning seasons, the school's best record in 32 years, national top 20 recognition, and a newfound sense of pride and purpose engendered by George Welsh. When I hear Coach George's name, the first things that come to my mind are dedication and intensity. He's totally dedicated to the program and he's intense about everything he does. He embeds that in your mind as a player. The dedication and intensity that characterizes Virginia football has not gone unnoticed. The 1984 Cavaliers drew record home crowds. Indeed, the entire nation was given a first-hand look at a remarkable success story as the surprising Cavs reeled off a nine-game unbeaten streak. Dedication and intensity description of a winning program with special application to the UVA defense. In 1984, the ACC was awash in a sea of orange jerseys. Wahoo defenders held six opponents to ten points or less. The attack was spearheaded by a quartet of hard-charging defenders. Number 51, first-year standout Sean Scott, is a budding superstar at defensive end. A pair of all-conference choices dominated the interior line. Number 98, Ron Mattis, led the team in sacks, and David Bond was not far behind. No one performed any better than another all-ACC performer, number 30, Charles McDaniel, UVA's all-time leading tackler. When opponents went over the top, cornerback Ray Daly was ready and waiting. His six interceptions led the conference and tied the school's single-season record. Teammate Lester Lyle, the Cavaliers' most vicious hitter, was a third-team All-American selection. Virginia's swarming, aggressive style of play produced stunning victories over arch-rival Virginia Tech, Navy, Duke, Wake Forest, and nationally ranked West Virginia. An auspicious beginning for a unit that will only improve with age. I've loved it here ever since I came here first year, and the people are, are really great. Despite the size of the school, it's almost, it's almost a family-type atmosphere. The socializing at UVA is, is great. It's probably one of the best aspects of the university. It, 
You know, everyone has, has to get their work done, but they manage to find time to have a lot of fun, too. I've made a lot of great friendships, you know, a lot of, a lot of super people, not only that are in the program, that are simply associated with the program that are around it. Academics and athletics. The University of Virginia, located in historic Charlottesville, offers prospective student athletes the very best of both worlds. Listen to academic advisor Rich McGuire. The well, university has such an outstanding reputation that it's not surprising that one of the questions that I hear raised most often is whether or not I can succeed academically at the University of Virginia. As the person most closely associated with academics and athletics, I can say that the answer is positively yes. I'm in the uh, McIntyre School of Commerce here, which is a very, um, very good program. I think it's ranked in the top five in the country. Uh, the academic advising at this school has allowed me to take the classes that were good for me, but not to rush into things that maybe I wasn't prepared with the first couple of years while I was here, while I didn't have an idea of, of what was necessary and the exact things that I needed to know to get into certain classes. Over the last 10 years, 95.8% of our grant aid athletes have in fact received their degrees. Academics and athletics. An unmatched graduation rate. The result of a unique relationship between the athlete and the university. A mutual dedication to success. In the classroom and on the playing field. It's our responsibility to see if the football staff has everything that they need so that they can compete equally with their peers. Well, one important aspect of that, and the one that's highly visible, is this facility right behind us, which will be a first-class dressing room complex and a full-service food facility for not only our football players, but all of our athletes that are on financial aid of Virginia. This is but one example of a $50 million commitment to the improvement and expansion of athletic facilities at Virginia. The athletes who will use those facilities have made a commitment too and the fanatical followers of Cavalier football are the delighted beneficiaries. Um, I've been a member of the cheerleading squad for the past few years and to go out there on a Saturday is just so exciting because the crowd's real fired up. Of course, I think going to a football game is as, is as natural as going to church on Sunday. We wouldn't miss it. We have the best time in the world here. We meet the other parents. We meet a lot of friends. I think it's just a place to be in the ball. It does not take long to appreciate the particular attraction of this football team. Call it excitement. Call it electric. Call it offense, Virginia style. Well, we like to have a balanced offense. I like to have a good power running game where we can utilize uh, our good running backs that we have now and we hope to continue to get. I like to have a quarterback that we can throw the football and wide receivers that have speed that can run so that you know, we could, if we have to throw the ball 30 times or 35 to win a game, we can do that also. In the air. And on the ground. It is an axiom as old as the game itself. In order to throw, you must be able to run. Make no mistake, this team can run. Sophomore Howard Petty led a charge that ran roughshod over the ACC. Behind the devastating blocks of all-conference linemen Bob Olderman and Jim Dombrowski, UVA running backs racked up impressive numbers. Number four, third-year speedster Barry Word provided a perfect complement to Petty. Both return in 85, a heady prospect for the UVA faithful. And those smiles get even wider when contemplating the quarterback slot. Kevin Ferguson started as a sophomore and then gave way to fellow second-year sensation Don Makowski, who wore number one both literally and figuratively by midseason. When the football started flying, opponents appeared helpless. The Cavs averaged over 27 points per game during the course of the campaign. Next year, Mikowski and company will continue to aim aerials in the direction of number 7.
17, flanker John Ford. Only a freshman, the ACC's Rookie of the Year figures to be a sure bet for future stardom. In the air and on the ground. Record performances in front of record crowds. But even as the victories mounted, George Welsh was looking ahead to a game against the Wolfpack, to a date with destiny. Here come the Cavaliers looking to write history today. Virginia has never been to a bowl game, but with a big win over NC State, that could change here this afternoon. Virginia has not beaten NC State in Scott Stadium since 1905. Our formation again with Ford left to Merrick, near side, McCaskey to throw, looking for Ford, sets, waits, man wide open, Zimmerle at the 29, 30, Zimmerle 35 yard line, 40, and we'll go to the 42 yard line, and that is good for the left pitch back to tight end, right side, McCaskey, the pitch, tossed the very word, the hole, 15, 10, 5, touchdown! NC State coming away. Martin Newsom at the 15, kicking away Daly. He has skied one. This one is in orbit. It'll be Daly at the 25, and he hesitates. Now one. 30, Daly, 35, 40. 50 yard line, Daly, near side. 45 to the NC State 35 yard line. It may be an automatic. Gives it the very word. Hole is there. Word five. He blocks. Someday they will look back and say, this is where it all began. The conference championships. The undefeated season. Because it was beautiful, it was brilliant, it was 60 minutes of near perfection and a victory of splendid proportion. On this day, UVA football officially came of age. For George Welsh and the Virginia Cavaliers, the promise of today will become the reality of tomorrow. Determination. Dedication. Intensity. Watch words of a program destined for greatness. This is UVA football. A commitment to championship.